Hey guys, this is Jason. Uh, this is Flash for Web GRC33, and we're going to learn how to redock some of our panels in Flash. Um, Flash comes with a couple different preset panel layouts um, that you can access through the window menu. And let's go ahead and see what the default looks like. Um, I've opened up Flash, and I'm just going to create a Flash file, a new one there, by clicking that guy. And you can see we've got this uh, palette properties. Um, and I use palette and panel interchangeably. I'm not sure exactly which is the correct one, but um, it's like saying font and typeface. One of them, uh, half of you will probably make fun of me. The other half will not know what I'm talking about if I just stick to one. So we use both. Anyway, uh, we have a properties panel or palette and a library panel or pal pal panel or palette on this side. Um, and then over here we have a timeline and a motion editor. And in the GRC33 class, we don't do a whole lot on the timeline because we're not an animation class. We're building websites. And most of what we do is in ActionScript. And ActionScript almost always resides on the first frame of your timeline. So we don't need all these extra frames. So we're going to put uh, the timeline in a different position and make better use of this space down here. And we redock this by selecting the tab with a click and we hold down that click and then pull away from that dock area and now we are going to move it to this dock area over here. Now we don't want to put it with these other panels here so that it's another tab that we have to choose. We want it in its own space and so we can add a new space within this dock area by moving this either down and we can see a blue bar there or we can go up and we see a blue bar up there. If there's a blue box, then it's going to dock with everything that's existing in that dock area already. So we're going to put it down at the bottom. So we're going to drag it down to the bottom, and then I'm going to let go of my mouse. And now we have our timeline is neatly docked in the lower right-hand corner of our screen. And five frames is probably all we're ever going to work with. Now, the first couple weeks of the class, we will be using the timeline so we can get some basic um, animation stuff out of the way. Um, but once we get into it, this is going to be an ideal setup. And so now we want to show in this area our actions editor, our action script editor. So we choose window, and we need to bring that up. And so as you can see, the actions panel, it kind of floats in space here. If you have a two-screen uh, two setup, you can drag this over to the right um, off the screen. But we don't. We're in the Mac Lab this semester, so we need to make use of one screen. And I'm going to, again, click on the Actions Panel tab. You can see it kind of turns dark. And as I move it, now I can dock it somewhere. And I'm going to dock it in this dock area. I'm not going to create a new dock area um, by moving it towards the top of the Motion Editor or below the Motion Editor. I'm going to dock it inside with the Motion Editor in this dock area here. So now I let go. And now my Actions panel is docked with the Motion Editor, and I can switch back and forth if I want to. Now keep in mind that your actions are tied to the frame that you have selected. So right now I have frame 1 selected, and so whatever actions I enter here will exist in frame 1. That's something to remember in Flash is that all of your... Uh, palettes or panels are context sensitive. So if I've got something selected on the stage, it's going to show the properties for that selected object here. Right now there's no objects on the stage, so nothing's selected. So essentially the stage is selected, and so we see the properties for the stage. Um, it's very easy to get confused. You want to just keep an eye on what you have selected, whether it be a frame or an object on the stage. And that concludes it. Now if you want to save this, you can go up to Window, Workspace, and New Workspace, and then you can name it whatever you want to, and that will save it. Um, and this will only work on your home computer or laptop. Uh, the computers in class, of course, have Deep Freeze, so everything gets reset. Um, so that concludes it. Thanks, guys.